In this illustration, we intend to simulate backfill sand supported by a concrete retaining wall in the Abacus software. Also, we intend to calculate the lateral earth pressure exerted on the retaining wall. Actually, we intend to simulate the example 7.3 from Sam Helvani book in the Abacus software. In the next step, I'll select Elasticity and Elastic from Mechanical menu. The Young modulus of the sand is equal to 182 megapascal, 182 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 pascal, and the Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. In the next step, I'll select Plasticity and Cap Plasticity from Mechanical menu. Here, the material cohesion is, that is uh, displayed by D is equal to 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of uh, negative 4 kilopascal. That here I will enter that as 0 0.1 pascal. Angular friction uh, that is displayed by beta is equal to 44 point fifty six degrees the cap eccentricity that is displayed by R is equal to zero point two initial yield surface is click on create instance select these two parts the backfill and the retaining wall here, I'll click on Auto Offset from Other Instance and OK. Then, I'll click on Translate Instance, select the retaining wall, and Done. First, I'll select Points, then this one, and OK uh, in this manner. As explained in the book, uh, two steps of dynamic explicit are used in this question and uh, the time period of each step is 5 seconds well I click on create a step in the first step the weight of sand and the retaining wall is applied also, a surcharge pressure is applied to the soil. Click on Create Load. Select Gravity, lo gravity Loading Surcharge Pressure step from here. Select Pressure from here and continue. Then select the top surface of the backfill and done. Here I intend to apply the surcharge pressure on the surface of the backfill. As explained in the book, the quantity of the surcharge pressure is equal to 7 kilopascal that is applied to the top surface of the backfill. Well, I'll enter 7000 pascal and OK. I intend to define the displacement quantity of point B. I'll select displacement loading from here, here displacement rotation and continue. Then select point B and done. And here you can observe point B. The displacement quantity of point B is equal to 3 mm, that is negative 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 3 meter then I click on create amplitude here uh, you can see the formation of the model from here I select the displacement contour and click on plot symbols on the formed shape
As you observe here, the displacement vector uh, can be seen having been marked out in some Helvani book. And uh, here also the displacement vector has been determined in the Abacus software. In the next step, uh, we will intend to draw this diagram. Actually, we are going to draw the active lateral earth pressure. Well, uh, to do so, I'll click on Create XY Data. From here, select Path and Continue. I will right-click on the diagram, Edit select this column, copy, and paste that in the Excel software. Then I'll select this column, copy, and paste that here. The first column is the active lateral earth pressure based on uh, kilopascal here the diagram drawn in blue is the one having been gained from the abacus software as you observe the results having been gained from the abacus software are quite the same as those obtained from Sam Helvani book. In the next step, I uh, will intend to draw this diagram. Actually, we are going to draw the passive lateral earth pressure. Here, uh, you can observe the diagram of the passive lateral earth pressure. I will click on Create XY Data, from here on Operate on XY Data, and Continue. Then I'll select this column, Copy, and paste that here. The first column is the passive lateral earth pressure based on kilopascal. I will select these two columns, select this diagram from insert menu. Here, the diagram drawn in blue is the one having been gained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results having been gained from the Abacus software are quite the same as those obtained from Sam Helvani book.